Welcome to my YouTube channel, More Than RN. Today, I'm going to do Hugel Culture. This is one of the garden bed that I bought from Amazon. The length is 6 feet, 2 feet wide, and 2 feet high. So it's six by two by two. And I think um, I bought it for like $99 or let's say $100. This is my first time doing this. It's Hugel Culture. I watch a lot of YouTube. I read a lot about this. And I learn it by learning from other people. So, if you see something that I did not do right here, please comment below so that I can learn also. So, you know, we learn from each other. So, this is basically creating a garden bed made up of woods, branches of um, trees, or twigs. So, you can see that um, I save a lot of this from the fallen branches in my yard last fall. The wood will take years to decompose. It will take years to get rotten. So I placed it at the bottom and I added a lot of um, small branches of, of the trees. The purpose of this is to save a lot of money. I know it will take years for the wood to decompose, but once they get decomposed, it will create nice soil for the garden. So in this garden bed, I added this fresh arborvitae that fell in my yard due to snow. And I added a lot of leaves. I have a lot, a lot of leaves that I saved last fall from my front and in my backyard. So I'm putting them here also. This is winter time. I'm doing this because I wanted to prepare this bed this coming May, end of spring. I'm hoping that the leaves and the small twigs already decomposed at that time at the end of May and I can start planting uh, early June for my summer vegetables. Since I really like doing this today and I still have a lot of leaves, I already ordered one. One like this but the size is 8 feet the length and the diameter is 2 feet and the height is 2 feet which I will put it near in this area. This is where the basketball hoop of my son, and now he's in his graduate school, and he will be using the hoop less nowadays. I'm still thinking what I'm going to plant here in summertime. I wanted this area to be like my Filipino vegetable area, where I can plant okra maybe beans uh, eggplants and ampalaya bitter melon um, i really don't know exactly what can i really plant here but that's what i'm planning to do hopefully my plan will materialize i really like and or enjoy gardening especially vegetables because right now i have a lot of flowers in front of my house in my side and backyard so i really don't need a lot of um flowers right now although i ordered a lot of david austin roses but i wanted to have a good vegetable garden where i can do my own harvest because i grew up in the philippines in the province we always have our own vegetable garden and i really miss that part so in this area the side of my house, I'm going to have these two garden beds, plus I have also uh, several planters that I'm going to plant vegetables. So hopefully, I will have abundance. Summertime, I can't wait. This will be 
Mary Ann's Filipino Vegetable Garden. I'm just kidding. In New York. I live in New York, but my lifestyle is like there's still a lot of lifestyle similar to my lifestyle in the Philippines when I was growing up. We can never forget our roots. And these vegetables will be organic because I'm not going to use chemicals. I'm going to um, use compost. If I have to spray them, it has to be Mary Ann's man-made sprayer made out of, you know, those soap and oil. And most, that's what I have seen in, in YouTube. You know, I watch also how to make organic fertilizer, organic pesticides. Because you we don't want to eat anything with chemicals. It has to be organic. Right now, I'm just excited preparing this garden bed. And I will be more excited when I started planting vegetables in this garden beds that I will be creating more in this area. The happiest part of gardening is harvesting. I love harvesting vegetables and cooking them. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!